For the past few years, there have been many bishops who, and many lay people have said Pope Francis is not being clear enough, that he has allowed a certain confusion, that he says one thing and then he says another thing, but he allows somehow this to percolate without clarifying. Is this a general concern you have about how he has conducted himself? Of course, <laughs> this is evident. It's continuously, unfortunately, what Francis is uh, doing affirmations or, or in his uh, oral uh, words, orally, or written form in his texts. There are really many things which are not clear and which people uh, cannot understand and uh, in some way undermining the clarity of the per permanent unchanging divine truth. And the apostles always preached in a clear manner <clears throat> and St. Paul said, I did not speak to you in an unclear manner. And uh, we, and he compared this we did not preach you the gospel as someone who is not knowing where to run. Or we did not preach you the gospel and fighting with someone who, who, do, who do not know how to fight. This is a, a similar expression in one of the letters of St. Paul. And all uh, the popes, all the fathers of the church, all have always said this is the task of the magisterium to explain to propose, to expound, to explain in a in a most clear form the word of God, that there will be not left any uh, doubts or um, uh, ambigu ambiguity for the faithful. Mm -hmm. So uh, the Pope and the bishops they are shepherds to give uh, good pasture and nourishment for the sheep. And to guide them to the clear, not to the to the waters who are clear, not to the poisoned waters or to waters who are not clear. This is the shepherd, and he seeks very good grass, mm -hmm. not ambiguous grass, mm -hmm. for the she for the sheep. So, and and so is the, the teaching has to be clear. It is a medicine. It is from the from the clear teaching depends also the eternal salvation and can mislead people. And so this is very important for the Pope and for the bishops. This is their first task to teach, but to teach clear. And this is, a, this is the greatest act of charity to, to transmit the eternal truth, which is so beauty, which gives life, which gives eternal life to the people. Well, you have spoken about the need for clarity in teaching and you called this an act of charity for the people who are hungry for clarity in a society that is relativistic and where there is a great deal of political correctness and where people think the teaching of the Catholic Church is changing or can change. But why do so few bishops seem to join with you in expressing these concerns about relativism or the marginalization of Christ. Therefore, uh, they accept this type of ecumenism without the real clear guidelines, or also even about the suppression of the old Latin mass. Why are you seemingly alone or almost alone among the thousands of Catholic bishops in pointing out the necessity for more clarity as an act of charity? Yes, this is a difficult question, but of course there are bishops who also think the same and wish clarity. Can you give examples? Well, we know uh, bishops and cardinals, let us say the four cardinals who the Dubia Cardinals. That was Cardinal Meissner who has died. And Cardinal Cafara died, and now Cardinal Burke, Cardinal Brandmiller publicly. Yes. Then Cardinal Sara several times expressed himself clearly. 
and uh, well they are but there are others who also wish the same but they for several reasons they do not speak out publicly for several reasons or for personal reasons or for political church political reasons i don't know mm-hmm. every bishop has to give account in the divine tribunal what he did with his episcopate and so i cannot judge my brothers unfortunately there are few in difficult times there were not so much the min- the majority it was it is it is a sign of that of the history that uh, always in crisis times mm-hmm. there were a minority right this is but <clears throat> at the same time what is giving me hope and and um joy also that there are a ever more increasing number of simple faithful of really simple faithful of of all ages fathers of of the family mothers of family young people students young priests who speak clearly and and explain the faith of all times in a clear manner and teaching them to their children and uh, propagating the faith in also in the internet sphere there are many uh, occasions and publications in lay from lay people and this gives me joy and hope that god will is using also the simple one in the church in difficult times to maintain and transmit the purity the clarity of the faith